Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back in space and today I want to build a realistic rocket. Just like the ones we have from NASA and SpaceX. Just a realistic rocket with rocket boosters. And we're going to try and leave the atmosphere of Dune and Micro Terra. So they're different gravities, I believe. Dune is 0.5 something in gravity when you get on there. Well, we're heading there now, so let's check. Oh, by the way, guys, what do you think about my, uh, my tiny little space fire? here just a micro one i built really quick okay we're uh, about to enter atmosphere so you kind of see the edge of the atmosphere which is nice and entering dune so here we go 0.57 g's we are in the atmosphere i am flying pretty well still that's pretty surprising because the space thrusters or the space engines they do less like propulsion in atmosphere but uh it seems this build is so light and so nimble i can still fly which is cool. Now, if we're doing it on this planet, the gravity is 0.5, which is like basically just over half of like a normal planet or a normal map. For example, Danger Zone or Treasure Island. So let's just land really quick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so let's just test the gravity with the player. Yeah, so we are a tiny bit floaty. I mean, you can get a real like run up and jump there. Look, look at that. So yeah, it is less gravity, but it's fine. I want to try and get to the peak of this map as well. If we're directly in the middle, which I believe this spawn point is, if we launch from here, we can like get the most amount of atmosphere in this like dome, like the dome of the atmosphere of this planet, because these planets are very unusually shaped. All right, well, let's get building our rocket. And I'm very excited for this today because I get to mess around with these giant rocket engines. They are 20 power cores each. They are big boys indeed. And to make this fun today, to make it like a, a more of a challenge, is I'm actually going to put like a time duration on each of these rockets. So it's not an infinite amount of thrust. Because real life rockets don't have infinite thrust. So if I have about a fuel system where I go up and then it just stops working and my boosters detach and stuff and I have to use back, it's kind of like Kerbal Space, guys. You know how a real rocket works, right? So let's make the rocket, like the main rocket. We can use... Use. Should I use the traditional base cockpit, guys? I mean, yeah, I would. I most likely have to, right? It's like the most optimal thing for this. Right, okay. We'll just put that there. Yeah, let's just make the main rocket really quick. So let's grab some rounded pieces. And then the build is gonna want to start, like, turning a little bit more square, I think. You know what? This is pretty good. You know me, guys. I'm gonna try my best to do some form for this rocket today. I don't ever, like, usually build rockets like this. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. That's looking pretty good so far. The only thing that kind of annoys me about this cockpit is it's flat on the top, right? It should be pointy. It's a rocket. That's pretty decently sized for a rocket, don't you think? Maybe just a few more modular sections of this rocket. I think that's pretty reasonable. I'm just trying to compare everything to the, uh, the size of the space cockpit and the size of the large rocket engine here. So I could probably do one more. We can get away with one more. Yep, nice. There's our rocket. Like, I just need to attach it somehow. Maybe we can completely change the uh, the corner edges here. Push this rocket kind of like inside. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's better. And then obviously just figure out something else to do here. Ah, oh, here you go. Rounded one by it. Rounded two by fours. There you go. Okie dokie. We have our rocket engine inside of this uh, rocket. The main rocket. Now, right now, this is like a single rocket, but I do want to make this a two-stage rocket. So, stage one will be the rocket boosters that I have yet to build when they detach. And then stage two will be the actual rocket itself for the final bit of thrust to get into space. And then, obviously, the top can detach somehow, I guess. But, uh... I don't need to worry about that too too much right now. I don't really want to detach from the, the main rocket yet. I just want to leave the atmosphere. That's what we're doing. Okay, let's give this a uh, very nice paint job. I actually want to make the tip of this longer. Okay, that's more. Yeah, there we go. Let's give it a paint job. Okay, nice. There we go. Pretty decent paint job. I added these things at the side. I don't know what they are. They're just details I wanted to add because I am using a reference image. And I think it's time to work on the boosters now. So let's save this. Now the boosters are going to be very similar, but just smaller than the main rocket. Okay, there's a booster made. So let's bring out the original build. Oh my god, I think I made it like perfect size. That's actually really good. <laughs> I just need to make 
a uh, space for a detachable block. Because obviously these boosters need to disengage and fall off. And there you have it. That's my rocket. It's pretty neat. It's actually quite complex. 397 complexity? And yeah, well, to be fair, these these rockets are like what? Oh, are they? Oh, they're not 20 complexity. They're just 20 power cores. All right, should we give this a test, people? I've got no gyros in this, which I probably should. But let's just test it without gyros. And we have infinite fuel too. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 it it's going. I didn't think it was going. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Okay, we're... Yeah, once we enter space, we start losing control. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, we are in zero G... Well, just above atmosphere. We're not in zero Gs. The planet's actually pulling us back in. Shall I detach the boosters, guys? Oh, so satisfying. Look at them go. And uh, should we try to do like a SpaceX rocket landing? Reusable rockets? No. <laughs> we're gonna crash. We're gonna crash! That's really good though, right? Okie dokie. Well, we do need to add the rest of the elements in this thing. So obviously we, we're going to want some like quantum rudders inside just to keep us like staying vertical. Also, the original simple tail fins because we are in atmosphere. We do have air whilst taking off. So let's just put a few of those on the side. They look pretty cool too, right? Oh, that just works. That just looks amazing. Now, the thing with the quantum rudders is they have that trail, right? So it's going to be very obvious that I have them on the build. However, what we can do is I believe... Wait, let me just check. Okay, it's not there. So I think what you have to do is go into colors and paint the quantum rudder black. The secondary color. And it has no trail, which is handy. Okay, let's put four quantum rudders in here. And then disable all of the controls. I do not need any controls from the quantum rudders. What I do want though is gyros. Also, I think it's a good idea to disable my seat controls. So the gyros are uh, inside now. Oh god. The rocket cannot stand up on its own. I probably need to add some struts. Yeah, I probably do. Will that work? It seems to be working. Okay, guys, let's try it out. So we still have infinite fuel, but I just want to test out the gyros to control this thing. So three, two, one, detach. Wait, what? No, I didn't mean to detach the... Oh, I detached the boosters. Okay. All right, let's try this again. So it's actually not even level ground right now, but I don't think that's too much of a big deal. Three, two, one... Whoa, 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 what is going on? I, that was, <laughs> it's working, but it's like, not like straight, like straight upwards. I mean, I actually just left atmosphere, so I can detach these now. Oh, it looks like my controls are inverted for some reason. We have your controls, which is very slow. Pitch, do we have pitch? We do, which is also very slow. So kind of a, a mission success, but not fully because I need to up, like upgrade my gyros. They need to be a lot stronger. All right, gyros, you're getting a major upgrade. Let's try four strength. Yeah, that should that should work, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, another attempt on the launch. This time with um with infinite fuel still. And also, guys, you may be thinking, Yuzi, why don't you just add a gyro stabilizer? Uh, well, because guys, I want to still be able to rotate whilst I'm in space, and having a stabilizer is just gonna keep me pointed upwards forever. So I kind of want the freedom of like rotating. Okay, helicopter chase cam, ready, guys? Let's do it. Free. Two, one, launching. Oh, these rockets sound so good. Okay, let me... Oh, yeah, the gyros are good. The gyros are good. Oh, my God. Here we go. We can check the Gs on atmosphere, too. Okay, let's uh, let's attach the boosters. That was so cool. And then we can stop the main rocket engine. And there we go. We have successfully launched in space. Vertically up, out of orbit. There's actually no orbit on these planets, which is it's a shame. I'd love to have an orbit on this. But uh, there we go. We're still going. 200, nearly 200 miles per hour. It's 170, actually. But I can still control this thing. That was so cool, right? Oh my god. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's start doing some like so it's kind of like automated a launch. Um there's only like 10. Should we say like 10 seconds, guys, for the, the rockets to, to detect? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe more than 10 seconds, actually. Okay, guys, let me show you what I just spent 20 minutes doing. So here is the new and improved version of this rocket. I've actually opted to change the original cockpit that I used for the uh the starter small spaceship. 
that I showed off in the intro. So uh, I didn't know I was going to use it today, but uh, apparently I'm using it. So, I mean, it's kind of perfect though. It's like the perfect size for this. Also, you can notice, you can see these little thrusters on the side here. These are just going to push the uh, boosters away once they detach. And everything's configured now, guys. Everything is configured. So all I need to do is kind of sit back, press up on the D-pad, and then the whole launching sequence happens. It launches, it detaches the boosters by itself, and then it finally detaches the uh, the small like spaceship on top. The only thing I can do is control it, like with the gyros. So make sure I'm not leaning too far to the left or too far to the right, vice versa. So it is done. Should we see it in action? Here we go, guys. I wish there was better lighting on this planet, but uh, I mean, here we go. Here's my, here's my rocket control pad right here. So all I gotta do is press up on the d-pad okay i'm just gonna make sure i control oh see what i mean just gotta keep it steady we're going and you won't see me press anything you know what let's just let it let it do its thing let it kind of glide maybe i just want to stabilize it a little bit straighter there we go the boosters are off which is so cool and then we're kind of still going and then automatically the rocket will stop there we go the rocket stopped we are now in space and then finally without pressing anything i detach from the rocket and i get to fly my little spaceship <laughs> how freaking dope is that that is so epic and now i am in space and i can just go anywhere i want so cool all right so uh we just saw that in like full action right there that was perfect for the gravity of duna do you want to see what it looks like on myco terra we head over there okay we are there we're loading oh okay we are on myco terra and it's actually less gravity than dune so i'll be able to do this no problem and the atmosphere is less so let's go for the launch three two one launching let's keep everything stable There we go. We'll be out of atmosphere in no time. This is such a tiny planet. There you go. I'm out of atmosphere already. <laughs> and my boosters are still going. Okay, there goes the boosters. Oh, wow. Look at them go. All right, I'm just gonna hold down the throttle on my spacecraft, ready for the detaching sequence. Any second. Right, there you go. <laughs> and we are free from the rocket. We're free. Yeah, so it's definitely more better to do it on Dune because it's just a bigger atmosphere. It's a more realistic takeoff. I mean, I can head to the whole room, but it's just an asteroid and it's pretty much zero Gs around that. What about Nasu? How many gravity do we have on Nasu? 0 0.36, so even less on Nasu. There's pretty much no atmosphere here, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh God, there's pirates, space pirates. Shall we try it, guys? Hopefully we can get away from the planet. Okay, let's not get spotted by those patrols. Here we go. Three, two, one. Launch sequence. Easy peasy. Let's get out of this solar system. Okay, yeah, we're, we're fine. I'm just too fast. Boosters are away. I can kind of just aim myself where I want to go now. And then it's just going to slingshot me where I want to go. <laughs> it's like Kerbal Space Program, but in Trail Makers. It's great. Well, that's pretty much all the planets. Like I said, I can't really do whole room because it's zero. To, well, I mean, I can, but it just wouldn't be effective. There is one more thing I want to do. There is this asteroid cluster called the Asteroid Vortex in the middle of the map. And this little asteroid in the middle has like the most gravity in this map. It's pretty much Earth gravity. So let's head over there. This is the perfect little fighter. Okay, we're approaching. So I need to avoid all of the asteroids and get to the middle. The Saphir in the middle. Receiving transmission. A Chirpo just flew past. Okie dokie. Let's avoid all these asteroids. Where is it? There it is. It's a perfect sphere. They should have made it like a black hole. That would have been cool. Okay, you see that gravity? 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Look at it. Pull me towards it perfectly. Wow. Yeah, so this is like the gravity you'd expect on Danger Zone or Treasure Island or any of any of the other original map. Okay, the hard part is spawning this in. Oh, the gravity assist kind of keeps me upright that's perfect let's try to go for a launch in this gravity it's probably going to be a lot more difficult guys to escape the sphere but three two one and launch oh whoa whoa that was rough oh this is rough come on come on come on 
Okay, slightly damaged. The rocket's slightly damaged. We're getting away. We're actually doing it. We got away. Okay, so the init initial launch there, I was just, uh, didn't have enough pollution. Not enough power. It's actually quite strong. Like, you see, I've damaged my rocket. But, I mean, eventually, we slid away. Okay, come on. Detach. And I'm back in my little space fighter. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. What do you guys think of my realistic rocket boosters? You think it's cool? I think they are very cool. Look at this. So fun to launch because it's all like automated. Yeah, we're going for a sideways approach, which is a realistic thing you do to try and get in the orbit. But obviously no orbit in this uh, game. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're spinning out. <laughs> it's okay. We can save it. Leave atmosphere. No. Oh, we're good. We're good. Uh-oh. 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 No. So this is a failed attempt right here. We're being dragged down to atmosphere. Oh, that's what happens if you don't get into orbit. <laughs> I really enjoyed this one, actually, guys. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys do something similar once you get your hands on the update, which I believe is on the 31st of this month. So the last day, you guys will have the update, which is awesome. So everybody will be playing. I can't wait to see all the multiplayer servers back open. But if you like this video and you have any more suggestions of what I should do next in space, definitely leave it down below. And whilst you're here, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway... That's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!